What's up, YouTube? I am Super Dan, the shoe man. I've got a day of cop video, in-depth unboxing of this shoe, the Jordan 4 Red Thunder. I've got a couple other shoes out here on the table for comparison's sake. I think, I haven't seen this shoe in person yet. Uh, I've only seen a couple of videos on it, and I think these are gonna be important comparisons. I don't have 100,000 steps in this shoe video for you. Not that I don't think anybody cares quite as much about how this shoe is going to wear in 100,000 steps as they did about this one. But I do think wear might be something to look at on this shoe. I got both of these shoes today at Finish Line. I got exclusive access on those. I'll make another video about exclusive access for Finish Line because I've been getting the fire from Finish Line lately. Make sure, if you haven't already, to go back and watch no, this side. Go back and watch the giveaway video one more week. This, this giveaway is going to be open one more week from today, Saturday, the 14th or 15th. I can't remember which day it is. Make sure you go back and watch that video. Make sure you're, you're, you've liked that video. Make sure you're subscribed and comment which of those shoes you want to get entered into the giveaway. Make sure you like this video, too. I've got a size... Six and a half and a size 11 men's here. We're gonna see if the, the two differ. A lot of times grade school and men's will differ. Sometimes it's not something you can see, but we'll see what, what, what these look like. And like I said, I've got these shoes here for comparison. This one, you haven't seen out here very much at all, but I think this is gonna be important comparison. Like I said, I've got two sizes here. I actually hit on another men's on sneakers and Flex app, Foot Locker told me this morning, even though they were giving out the W's yesterday for reservations, they told me this morning that I hit the ship to me option. So I've got, and a, a, for both of them, so I've got an 11, a six and a half, I think I got 10 and a half on sneakers today. I'm not sure exactly what I did on that account. And then I think I've got an 11 and a seven coming from Foot Locker. Grade school, it's my first look at this. Again, this is the grade school. Okay, this is a good shoe to have out here. Uh, and let me get my men's size out. This is my size, size 11. I'm feeling like I'm probably not going to keep these, which is kind of a good thing. But let's talk about it. Here we go. This is the men's. Right off the bat, we got to talk about this. This is crimson, I believe. Even though all of the boxes, the colorway is black, multicolor, multicolor. Why would they not put the colors? There's only three colors on this. Black, we get a white jump man on the tongue, white jump man on the back, crimson and, white, crimson, and black. That's it. So why they call it multicolor, multi, I don't know. Uh, but this is crimson. A lot of people, including myself, say when we look at pictures of these, they just look off. When we look at the videos on YouTube, they just look off. It's because it's not Varsity Red. This is Varsity Red. Look. There's a big difference. There we go. There's a big difference here. That's why this looks off. I, I watched some videos, including a Seth Fowler video. I like Seth Fowler. I like watching his videos, but his video with this for this shoe is just off. I'm not sure what it was, and that's why it, this shoe looks like a like it should be a grade school release. It's because of this color. Let me put this picture up here. Beep. Faded. Forever, Fader Forever, that's his name. Fader Forever from YouTube modified a picture of this for me just so that we can see what it looks like if this was more like a Varsity Red. By the way, Fader Forever, his music is on this background. Go check it out. I like his beats. This is a pretty good song. Go check him out. I'll link him down below. So that's my first gripe with this. I mean, you might like Crimson Red. If you do, have at it. Like, I, otherwise... I think this is a very nice shoe. We'll get into the rest of it in a minute. Um, but that color is just off for me. And seeing it in hand is better than I've seen in a lot of pictures. I hope you can get a good feel on this video for what this color is, especially when I've got it up against this one. We'll look at some more color here. There we go. Maybe that. Hope that gets you some good perspective on what this color is. These shoes are going for... I think about 320. This was a 190 retail. They're going for 320 up 
They were going for 320 right right after the sneakers release at 10 o'clock this morning. Or maybe a little bit higher than that. But they might be up a little bit higher than that. That normally happens on a release day after a bunch of people take their L's. Um, now let's go on to the next thing. This new buck. Uh, I do believe that this is a new buck, not Durabuck. Because it looks like this. Let me put this bread away because I don't want to mess it up. That's, that's my bread that I've had in, out in a lot of these videos. My extra pair that I need to keep on ice. This is my pair of the Jordan 5 Oreo from 2021. I don't think I've ever taken this pair out of the box. I had a different pair that I made the video on. And this is my wife's pair. She's put quite a bit of wear into this. She says the shoe is insanely comfortable. These are absolutely real Nubuck. Yeah, this might not be Nubuck. This might be Durabuck. Let's see. This is Durabuck up tempo. I think this is a 2019 release. This is Durabuck. It's soft, it's buttery, it's all perfect. There's no imperfections on this. Um, this wears really well. It doesn't tend to fade that badly. Like I said, this is a few years old. This is like eight months old at most. And she's got 10 pairs of shoes, 10 pairs of sneakers. So it's not like she wears it that often, but she has put a decent amount of wear on it. And this is really ashy. Take a look at that. Real new buck does that. This is crispy. Crispy new buck. Crispy new buck. Ashy new buck. Like I said, this is like the first time this has even been out of the box. I'm hanging on to these. I do really like these. I just haven't got the hanker to wear them. But it gets ashy quick. I'm just going by feel. These don't feel the same. I was thinking that these probably were very similar material. They're not. I mean, they're similar, but not so similar that I think they're made out of the same thing. It does make me think that this at least is more synthetic. I'm pretty sure this is purely synthetic Durabuck. This may just be, like, I think in the United States of America, to call it real leather, I think it's only got to have like 10 or 20 or 30 percent cow. So this might have more cow, but this is much better Durabuck. Nubuck, sorry. If Nubuck is what you want, but like I said, it wears a lot. I'll see if I can get a couple of close-up pictures here on this one so you can see. I'll actually put a picture down with all three of these so you can get a close-up view. I don't have a cameraman or a camera lady today, so you'll get a steady picture, but you're not getting the banter back and forth with me and my daughter, any of my daughters, or my, my wife, or my son. Um, but you also, and you'll get a steady camera, but no banter, no close-up video, unless I put it in some B-roll, but I think we're going to go with pictures on this one. Uh, what else about this? I've heard that there's been some quality concerns, quality control concerns on this with glue and other stuff. We've got a scuff right here. Some glue on the midsole right here. Overall, not bad. I don't see any other... Smell nothing, no glue and no leather. Uh, brush strokes on this panel aren't so good. I am going to put some B-roll at the end of this. Uh, I'll give you the close-up pictures and the B-roll. Brush strokes and some, it's just not smooth here. You can see the brush strokes on the paint on the, the heel of the midsole or the back of the midsole. This little pocket right here. You, you'll see the, the close-up. It's bumpy. Some black on it. I'd call that a QC issue. It's not terrible, though. You won't be able to really see that on foot. The rest of the midsole looks good. That's what we get on the bottom. I do like the fact that you can see another piece of red on the inside of this up here. A lot of people don't like that. I like that. Um, I personally would prefer not to have the other color behind the netting, the crimson behind the netting. I would rather that be black. But for this to be true to the color blocking of the yellow thunder from years ago it's got to have the the crimson on the back i like the crimson on the back of the tongue i think uh i was comparing this to the bread four which if this was a normal color red you could call this a bread four because bread only means black and red um obviously the color blocking is not the same as the actual bread four the color is not the same red um but i like the tongue the way that the tongue is constructed better on the bread for you can see more of the red from the front you can't see really any of the red backing from the front of this shoe 
Uh, but I do like the OG tongue tag. Of course, we all prefer, almost all of us, prefer the Nike Air on the OG bread a whole lot more than a Jumpman. But it's not a big deal to me. I'll take either one of them. We've got more people watching these videos now. Does anybody have a trick to where these back tabs, pull tabs, don't rub the back of your heel, your, your Achilles? Um, I feel like we could just stick some kind of wedge down in there to do that. But I feel like there's got to be some better trick. If you know anything, comment down below. Let me know. Go back to the grade school. There's a little bit more glue on the new Bug Durabuck by the midsole, which I'd expect sometimes for there to be more inconsistency, more quality concerns with the construction of a grade school than with the men's. Uh, otherwise, though, they are most likely made out of the exact same material, which is good, I guess, if you're a smaller foot and you're going for the, and you wear the grade school sizes, you'd prefer to get what generally is a better quality in the men's or adult sizes than lower quality, even though it costs less on the kids. I think this is 130. This was 190 again. Men's is 190. I think this was 130. Like I said, I hit on a size seven, another size 11, and a 10 and a half. I think those were the, the sizes that I got. You can't hold me to it because I'm not sure right off the top of my head. But we've got one week till the giveaway. If I got a size seven or another size six and a half, either one, um, I will include that grade school size as an option for the winner of the giveaway. I will do that. Of course, if you haven't seen this video and you happen to win, I'll let you know. I'll let the winner know next weekend. Uh, once I contact you, once I've picked the winner randomly, um, at least one winner is going to be random because that video has over 200 likes. I asked for 200 likes on that video to give away shoes, a pair of shoes or or the, the consolation prize to two winners for over 200 likes. It's got over 200 likes. So we've got two winners getting chosen next weekend. I don't know what else to say about this shoe. Like I said, I'm probably not going to keep this shoe. It's just not doing it for me. I like it. There's definitely nothing wrong with it. And again, if I hate a shoe, it's perfectly fine that you love it. I don't hate you just because I hate the shoe. If I love a shoe and you hate it, I don't hate you. I just hate the shoe. But I'm not hating this one. I'm just not really feeling it. I've got several other fours, and I'm actually not a huge fan of fours anymore. This year, last year, 20, 2020 and 2021, I'd say that fours were the second most popular Jordan silhouette just behind ones. You could argue it could be threes, might be elevens. I don't think there's anything else that's really in contention. But I'd say it was fours. It's arguable, though. Um, and so these are, like I said, they're, they're going to be, or they are hot, with over what 50% markup now in the aftermarket. Yeah, over 50% markup on the aftermarket when I looked at it earlier. It's probably a little bit higher than that. This size 11 is, I believe, already spoken for. One of my 10 and a half. Nope. Miguel hit two. I was going to... Uh, sell one to Miguel. Miguel's one of my bros. Appreciate him looking out for me, uh, but he hit on his own, so he doesn't need my pair. So I'm going to have a couple extra, uh, but like I said, the extra kids pair, it, whether it's a six and a half or a seven, I think I got an extra seven. So we'll put that in the giveaway because we don't have many size sevens, if any. Um, but I appreciate all y'all. I appreciate the support. Y'all have been showing me lately, getting a lot more views on the videos, a lot more likes. Make sure you share them. Tell your grandma. The tell your grandma quote that I do in every single video now was from Hesper. I'm going to get y'all a, a, a clip of that because it was one of the videos that Hesper did herself. And I was kind of trying to coach her through the video from behind the camera. And I said, who are you supposed to tell? And she said, tell your grandma. And that was a good quote. I need to go back and, and make sure that I have that clip. Might put that at the end of the video with my closing clips, my closing uh, scenes that are kind of, I don't know if you call them outtakes or not. They're probably not outtakes. Um, but my, my closing shoe reveal reactions, um, I might add that one in there because that's a really important one for the channel now. Tell your grandma. But make sure you tell your grandma. Thanks to the grandmas for watching. My mom, who is a grandma that watches. I think we had a grandpa comment the other day. Appreciate all y'all. Get your kids involved. Grandma was saying that grandson probably wouldn't want to twin with him. I twin with my wife. I twin with 
all three of my kids, and I twin with my mom. I twin with my nephews. Sometimes we could twin with the with the cool grays. I twin with I twin with everybody. No shame in twinning. If your grandma wants to drip like that, then you twin with that. You hear me, grandson? I don't remember your name, grandson. You should comment on this one too, because you better do it. Uh, I I really like twinning with my mom. Like when we twin those Travis Scotts, it's fire. I was at out to eat lunch with her the other day, and there was a group of gentlemen at the table beside us, and I think there were some. I think two of them were wearing thirteens, and they were nice shoes. But I really wanted my mom to go up and say, "Hey, y'all, Grandma dripping harder than y'all. What's up?" But she wouldn't do it. I'm kind of glad she didn't. Might have gotten us in trouble. But uh, uh, thanks to all y'all for watching. Thanks for the support. Make sure you check out my next videos. I'll I'll put up a short for these probably tomorrow. I got my what's coming in 2022 video. And then I've just had some trouble editing because I'm not that good at editing. Um, I got people to edit for me. I just prefer doing it myself. It's quicker. It's normally easier until you mess stuff up and you don't know how to work it. Um, but be on the lookout for that video, what's coming up in 2022. I got a poll in my community tab. Which shoe do you want to see next on 100,000 steps? And then I'm working on 200,000 steps, 100 miles in the patent ones. Uh, I wore those today. I wore those yesterday. I wear those pretty much exclusively, even though they're not my favorite shoe. I wear them for the vibes. I do wear them for the vibes. But I wear them for y'all because I want to get 200,000 steps and make another video to see how they wear. And again, I've got my pair, my extra pair on ice, which I don't know how long I'll keep those on ice. I may not even keep them forever. Because like I said, they're not my favorite shoe. Um, but it looks like y'all want to see some cool grays. 100,000 steps. And this happened in some cool grays. I got to get, I think I got to get Isaac to do that. Isaac's already started wearing his cool grays. I've got a couple pairs. Both of them are on ice right now. I haven't put them on my feet at all yet. There. Um, or I might get Hesper to do it. I did ask Hesper, and I didn't ask Haley yet, but here we go, Haley. I want y'all, I would like for y'all to wear the cool grays every day. One of y'all. They wear the same size shoe, so one of them can wear it the other day. One day, one, the other one can wear it the other day. We can get some steps in that and at least show you what the grade school size six and a half wears like. They're built different. <laughs> They're built different than the... Uh, than the, the men's sizes, than the adult size, so they might wear differently. I'm not really sure, but I'm sure a lot of y'all, some of y'all that wear the grade school size might want to see that too, so we'll try to get those up for you soon. Thanks for being here. Like I said, don't forget to tell your grandma. Like and subscribe. Go back to the giveaway video if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. I'm so 